Today, three members of Congress will visit two important places, Hancock Airfield and Fort Drum. These three local representatives want to meet the servicemen and women who protect our country at these bases, but the visit is political as well. The military is always looking to cut where they can, and they want to make sure these bases stay put. Andrew Donovan joins us live right now outside Hancock, home of the 174th Air National Guard. So, Andrew, why are these three members of the House of Representatives from Central and Northern New York coming to these two locations today? Well, Dan and Stacey Lynn, they want to show a united front and show Congress that these two facilities do matter, both locally and nationally. Congressman John Katko from the Syracuse area, Utica area Congressman Richard Hanna, and North Country, Cong Congress, North Country Congresswoman Elise Stefanik will visit both of these locations. They'll start their morning here in central New York at Hancock and then head to the North Country in Fort Drum. Together, they want to show the importance of these places. Both units have been very busy. Soldiers at Fort Drum are preparing for a return visit to Afghanistan this spring, and Hancock is continuing its drone operations. But there's always an underlying fear of military reductions at these or any base in the United States. The defense budget has been a political issue already this year, and a Pentagon official is calling for more base realignments in the coming years. When you're talking about the, the, the amount of cuts that have gone on in the military over the last few years, that's always a concern. And these base realignment committees that they have are always an issue. When's going to be the next one? When's it going to happen and all that? But for me, um, I'm going to fight hard for both of these. I think they're critically important, not just to the region economically, but to our country's uh, national defense. Talking about Fort Drum alone, that base counts for $1.3 billion of the local economy. And as we know, the 10th Mountain Division is one of the most deployed of any in the United States. And historically, Central New York is not immune from cuts. We know of the thousands of jobs that were lost in the 90s at the Griffiths Air Base in Rome and at the Seneca Army Depot in Romulus. John Katko saying these two locations not in imminent danger just yet, but he and his colleagues want to remind people just how important they are. Dan and Stacey Lynn. Andrew, thank you. Rocky